Hello, this is Bill Mook. Um, I want to talk to you today about economic and political failure um, and the long-term difficulties we have with present methods of uh, voting and buying, making political and economic decisions. Money and votes don't work. We've known this since the 1950s. It's not been widely discussed. However, um, Ken Arrow uh, received from Stanford, received the Nobel Prize in Economics in 1972 for showing just how money and votes cannot be used to rationally organize our affairs. Why don't money and votes work the way we think they do? It's because they reflect human values, and human values cannot be uniquely ordered. They form preference loops. Money and votes what does that mean? Well, money and votes can be uniquely ordered, so they do not form preference loops. The reason that's important is that where you cut the preference loop determines which unique ordering you get. Um, I might like berries better than apples and carrots better than berries, but I might like apples better than carrots in this case. And if I make a choice to start with berries and carrots, I'll end up choosing apples. If I start with carrots and apples, I'll end up choosing berries. And if I start with apples, I'll end up with carrots. Um, where you start your decision-making process with a preference loop determines what unique ordering you get when you uh, count up votes or count up money. The order in which decisions are made determine the outcome of decision process independently of what people really want. And this can be used to um, guide a, a political discussion or to guide an economic discussion. Or it can just happen of its own, depending on the random ordering of events. This explains political cycles and economic cycles as well. Is there a solution? Well, in 1973, Dr. Vasily Leontief received a Nobel Prize in Economics for his input-output method of econometric analysis. This method uses a form of counting that cannot be uniquely ordered. It uses tensors. A rational method of decision-making using input-output tensors implemented by a distributed network of dis digital agents is possible. This value net allows each individual to interact with others using vector currency. Gerard Midioni at the University of Southern California has created a tensor voting scheme for robots. This system is easily adapted to econ economics and politics using internet techniques. So this is what um, we should really look toward in making a system that works. Thank you.